Hey guys, Ridiculous Badger coming at you from Planet 545, and today we're going to do it. We're going to take on the big dog, the nightmare, the nightmare of your dreams, nightmare. And so I'm going to start by gathering up my intel. Got my scout out, got my weenie out. Okay, that's my buddy type hands. We are friends. That's why I'm flying away from him. Okay, okay, great. Awesome. Nice. Excellent. Uh, okay, it's, uh, it's got tier 7, which you're gonna be risking some shadow matter here, guys. S class calm, so it's got an awakening. It's got max level, so there's nothing that I could do to take away. It's sure that it's sure. It's first strike. And it's got air in the front, infantry in the back. It looks like air awakening. Okay. Yeah, airship awakening, master fix it, heat seeking missile. I know that heat seeking missile is a short hit skill. So I guess it would have to have something. And I forget about Master Fix It, so we'll get that in our last round of gathering info. Gonna tally up its accuracy. So front rank is T7 Air, back is T7 uh, Infantry. So they each start out with a natural 100 bonus. This is 54 to the back row. 150 to the back row. They love this Thalmus 8. And even though all its gear is for the correct troop type, that is it. That's all we have on accuracy besides the troops themselves, which is... I could show you tier 7. There we go. It's... Accuracy is 30. And for... Air. I don't have it, so I can't show you, but I did look it up, and it is 55. So, that brings the front rank accuracy to 155, the back rank is 334. I am going to do this without gear, and I'm going to do it with APOC Hull, and between my zero gear... And, look, I, I know I'm going to have to feel tier 7 at this thing. What? What? Reason I know that is it, it has a single short hit skill. So, I don't want to screw around with that. But the main thing is that it has first strike and, it, and its front rank is air and it has air awakening. So if I feel tier six, no matter what, for the first three slots that the enemy goes, there is a 60% chance for the, for the awakening to trigger. And then when that triggers, there's then a 40% bonus chance to hit my, um, my troops. So I've put my... Assuming I'm taking tier 7, which I know I am, I've worked out without gear. I have 377, so number to beat was 334. So, let's see. Yeah. 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 So let's find out anyway about those skills. And it's just the front rank that I care about, because I know the back rank. So I'm only going to send 3. Conks, just to mitigate some of that loss. <laughs> uh, that's the opposite of what I said I was gonna do. Like, give me the uh, uh, this was less clicking, I'm sure. I'm stupid. Okay. Let's continue to look at this thing. So the front row is going to be able to proc Awakening. That's a concern. It has First Strike. That is a concern. And... But... 
its sure hit skill in the back rank doesn't it doesn't have an awakening for that troop type so it can't do a sure hit on the awakening which is good unless this master fix it i don't remember what the hell that is okay let's find out okay so we're looking for a master fix it proc and okay okay all right master fix it come on fix it fix it there we go nice now the sure hit okay that's great yeah so that means i'm not worried at all about the enemy hitting horizontally good to know could only hit a slot in front of it and it doesn't have infantry awakening yeah so it could only hit the slot in front of it and then it could only sure hit one slot which is good okay it goes first that's the main thing look just trust me heat seeking missile is a sure hit skill I'm not gonna make you watch that uh, you know that Master Fix it, just believe it because Master Fix it isn't, uh, Awakening Airship isn't, so, and I lost. See, I lost, so I took damage somehow. Although, I bet it went to just maximum turn injury. Maybe it didn't, I don't know. No, it didn't. It did end up killing me. Alright, tangent. So, let's set up our thing. It is. It has first strike, so I'm gonna put slot one ranger. That will allow me to attack with my fresh, fresh, fresh troops. I'm gonna put, what the hell? You know what? Do you know what, people? I want this to go on for a while. Hopefully, probably, probably won't. <clears throat> So I'm also putting slot three a ranger because I would I'm gonna put I'm gonna actually put backup um, to this stack. So I want um, I want to get to my slot five as quick as possible. So my cannon's gonna go on slot two and five. I need to protect my arc here because chances are the enemy's just gonna proc an awakening and in the front three slots and it's not gonna hurt my conks but it is gonna kill all my rangers at once so i have a compulsive obsessive tendencies there we go so it's gonna knock out slots one and three automatically so i must put something in slots four and six um but if the that does open them up first turn being destroyed by the enemy because it has the enemy has um, in the back rank a short hit skill but let's give this a shot very very low risk you could see um, you could always send you know more like 150 200 whatever how do they do I got defeated nice so what happened There, it's attacking first. I'm guessing I just got a short hit to one of the back ranks. But this is a very good proof for, even if you deploy this way, even if you lose, your risk is actually much lower than it looks because by and large, you're giving the enemy a way to defeat you easily and it's kind of like a bailout technique you know just in case something goes wrong i have two weak avenues for the enemy to get to my arc and i'm hoping that they will because i don't want my stacks on slot two and five to get hit now they might get hit here i saw that two conquerors died so two short hit skills um, propped. Yep, there they got hit, so lost eight. And then I lost my ninth. So eight is the maximum I'm going to lose here because it's never going to get to infantry now before I get sent home. 
In fact, it looks like this was really close, which is hilarious. Oh, he had, yeah, it's a very small troop stack. That's what happened. That's uh, hilarious. So obviously you could see there if I um, if I just increase the number of troops that I sent. So if I didn't just send 100 Conquerors, 50 in a stack, that would have been fine. Um, the modification on that, of course, is going to be the one-slot bust for Stella. And the easy way to do that is throw on your stack in slot 2. Remember, because the enemy goes first... And I can't change to a uh, to Arma Hall because I need the dodge from Apoc Hall because I'm not wearing any gear whatsoever. And once again, let's say I don't win. Uh, I won. <laughs> but let's say I don't win. It's a whole three slots, three turns before the enemy can use a short hit skill and kill my conks. So that means that if I don't kill the enemy on this specific turn with um, with this troop, then the enemy will just send me home when it's slot three goes. So super low risk there. As long as your dodge beats its accuracy and you're sending the same tier or higher, you're good. Thank you guys and have fun fighting all the monsters.